great thing. What do you do for a living? I do security for uh, Brown University right now. Oh, Brown? Yeah. 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 My best friend works at Brown University. Okay. Al Goldie. He's a teacher. Oh, a teacher, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah but I mean, that this, 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 this was like, wow. Nobody you might want to just put that money away though aside. So, oh. yeah. It's a few dollars just to get what you need, what, what I don't have in there. There's a couple of plates in there, hand warmers. You know what I mean? I know, I don't, don't worry about it. It's alright. Okay? It's huge. I mean, trust me, if I could give I more, I, if I could give more, if I had the power ball, I'd be taking care of a lot of people. But, I, I, when I was on the road, I, I, I used to be a truck driver, mm -hmm. and I and I'd go down the road and I'd see people say, you know, they'd have, they'd hold the signs up, mm -hmm. and I was always looking for help because I had to move furniture, and so I was always trying to get help, and I I'd, I'd grab guys on the street and I'd be like, hey man, I'll, I'll pay you eighteen dollars an hour, fifteen dollars an hour, whatever whatever it takes to get me help get the furniture unloaded and then most of the times it was like they were just scamming they were just scamming and i'm not a scammer no i know like i, like I said i didn't ask for this, I mean, this no i know huge. I, I woke you up i saw you sleeping and drove by i saw you yeah and, you know what i mean and i was born and raised around here and this this is my unfortunately now i'm homeless and i made a hundred grand a year well, more than that sometimes, but then it, it became just one, one when I range a pause. One, two, I got hit by a car mm -hmm. and I got run over, and uh, my ankle got snapped, so I, I could no longer work. So it was like I went from making all that money to like nothing, mm. and because I was independent. I didn't, I, I didn't have anything behind me. I didn't, I, I, I didn't work for a company. I, I, I owned my own rig. Mm -hmm. And um, they, the first thing they took was my tractor trailer. Then they tried to take my house. I got a house in Jacks, Florida. Because that's where my children are. My, mm -hmm. my ex-wife. Well, I, I don't want to call my ex-wife Karen. The woman who I, we were together for... 14 years mm -hmm. so I I signed it over to her so they couldn't take it mistake oh they tried to take it they took everything from me they took my truck they took my car and and, 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 and what I did is I put the house in her name so they couldn't take that because they came after me like mm. because I like the hospital bills mm. how'd time. you end up here if it was in Florida I was born and raised here Oh, okay. And um, once we got divorced, and um, she ended up getting the house after that. Well, I gave her the house. Okay. I, I just, I just. Because you had kids I, too, right? As well. Yeah. I That's why. Two, I okay. Got two boys, Kyle and Cody, and uh, I wanted to make sure they were secure. So what I did is I just paid off the house. I gave her the house, and made sure they were secure. And then we were not together anymore because we. Divorced, and um, I was born and raised here in Cranston. I went to Cranston High School right over there. Graduated right in Cranston High School, and uh, I just I, I wound up back here. How old are you? Fifty-seven. So, so uh, and it's it's been it's been I made great money. When I say great money, I was making a hundred grand a more than a hundred grand a year but once everything went astray once I got hurt everything went bye bye yeah. when you're making money people they're like okay yeah yep this is cool this is cool this is cool this is cool. oh once you stop making money and it goes all oh, bye bye that's, that's, that's when you know when your two friends are yeah mm -hmm. exactly you know you know what I'm saying and I, unfortunately, two of my best friends have, have died recently. And um, 
have, I won't mention their names, but he just died recently. He might one of my best friends. Mm -hmm. He he died from a, he just died from a heart. He died from a heart injury. He was he, he was younger than me. So my pops passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. My girlfriend, she was she was killed in a horrific jeep accident down on Pontiac Avenue over here. What was that Pontiac? Whatever. It was down there. Yeah. She was killed in a horrific jeep accident three years ago, and we were like, we were together for seven years. I mean, she was my mate. We were gonna spend our life together. Up here, she yeah. She was my mate, and um, I was on the road. I was. He said I was a tractor driver. I was a tractor trailer driver. And I get the fucking phone call. I'm like, Jonette's in trouble. What's her name, Jonette? I'm like, what do you mean she's in trouble? Oh, there's, there's been an accident. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? And I, I forget the fuck where I was, Kansas or wherever the fuck I was, because I was a tractor trailer driver. So I flew home. I, I just left my rig. Fucking wherever the fuck it was. I forget where I was. I was in the Midwest. And I flew home. I'm like, she stayed. She she was alive for four days, but she was dead. But she still had some. You know what I mean? She was in a coma. So I'm like, I had to make the decision to pull the plug. I'm like, she, because I talked to the doctors, and I talked to the surgeons, I talked to the fucking experts. And she's like, they're like, she ain't ever gonna come out of it. She said, you, so you gotta make a decision. You pull the plug, or she gonna just, she, she ain't coming out. It was so, so bad, I yeah. Make that decision that said, all right, you know what? Because her mom wouldn't make the decision. And her mom gave me the choice to make the decision. I said, all right, you know what? We'll pull the plug. Because I, I, I could I couldn't because I stayed in the hospital for four days and four nights when I went hospital and I sat right there and, and, and security kept telling me I gotta go. You gotta go you can't stay here. You can't stay Sorry, here yeah, twenty four. Yeah. I'm like Blue oh, uniforms, you. right? What's that? Blue uniforms? Yeah. yeah I, I used to work that one work over there before I went to Brown. I'm like, I ain't fucking leaving. I said, You you ain't making me leave. I'm not fucking leaving her side. I said, I ain't Fucking leaving you. They say, well, if you only stay here for eight hours or six hours or whatever the fuck the visiting hours were. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is the woman I, I'm in love. She's my life. You think I'm leaving? And they and the security were like, it got to the point where security was like, fuck it. Just leave me. Just leave me. He's behaving. Because I was quiet. I behaved myself. But I would not leave her side. Yeah, well, uh, when I used to work there, I had a, I, I kicked some people out of the room, but I had some understanding as well. I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm going to turn the other turn the other cheek. <laughs> yep. Walk right by. You know what I mean? Because I used to do patrols there on the whole floors and everything. So I know yeah. I, I know how it is. You know so they probably were just like, you know what? Let him be. His his world's already. <laughs> so. As long as, you, as long as you're quiet. As long as you're not giving no one an issue. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they probably they just turned the other cheek and just said, okay, you know what, let's, let's just go. Yeah, that's what, that's what they did. Yeah, that's how they are. That's what, that's mm -hmm. what they did. They We're left. totally not supposed to do that, but I have supervisors that used to tell me that too all the time. So. And then when I left, because I, I got to the point where I was, after four days and four nights, I, I started stinking because I, I, I was there for four days and four nights. I started smelling because my body, you know. So I went home to shave and shower. And that's when they pulled the plug. I came back and the bed was. I was like, what the, what the, what She's not the, in the bed. Where is she? Mm -hmm. I'm like, where the fuck is she? Well, she was already dead anyway. I already knew she was dying. Yeah. And uh, I was like, oh, David, you know she was already dead. And, and we waited for you to leave. That's when we decided to do it. The family, the other family members decided to do it. Mm hmm. I was like, no, oh, it'd be what it'd be, you know, I, I already knew, but, you know, I, 
you can't just sit there four days and four nights and not start. I mean, I'm, I, mean I started to smell. I started mm -hmm. to stink up. Because I, I sat there for four days and four nights. So I went home to shower and shave, and I, I knew in my heart when I went home to our apartment, which is right over here on, over here on Pontiac, we have a beautiful, we had a beautiful apartment. I knew that when I went back, she wasn't going to be there. And um, so I accepted it when I left, that when I came back, she wouldn't be there. And she wasn't. Mm -hmm. so, we put her in the ground. She went peacefully. She didn't. She didn't die. Of, she didn't die horribly. She, she was in a jeep accident. But because she she got head trauma mm -hmm. from the jeep accident, I wasn't with her. I was on the road, and you know, like I said, I came back and. But she went peacefully. Mm. You know, she didn't die in pain. I I don't know if she was in pain or not. The, you like to believe that, yeah. The four days and four nights I was just spent with her in the hospital. She seemed peaceful. She she was in a, she was in a coma. I mean, she was you know, she never woke up. But she seemed peaceful. She seemed like she wasn't in pain. Yeah. No. You do what you do. Yeah. Man, this was nice of you. This is no like, problem, wow. man. Just make sure you carry that bag with you, though, when you ever you take off. What's in here? Food. Holy shit, man. You gave me, like, enough food for a year. Mm. This, this is, like... The least I could do. It, why, why would you if do you, that? God told me to. I don't know. I just had a feeling to love him. That's like... If you got anybody that's homeless along with you or whatever, share your food. Share the wealth. <laughs> I you know always do. I, yeah. If, if, I, if, if I, I walk down the street and I don't have a lot of cash, but, you know, sometimes I walk down the street and I, and I always make money because I'm a handyman. Mm -hmm. If I see somebody painting a house or building a fence or, or whatever, they're doing this or they're doing that, I'm all like, all right, I'll give you four hours. And they, you know, they'll give me $10, $12 an hour or whatever. And I walk down the street and I see, I see another homeless person, because I'm homeless. Mm -hmm. Here's 10 bucks. I don't give a shit. Here's 10 bucks. I don't give a fuck. Here's mm -hmm. 10 bucks. It's just money. It's nothing to me. That, that's more money than anyway, right there. Food, to me, yeah. right? That's so This is like huge, man. This will keep me fed for a year. <laughs> highly doubt it, but as much as I can. No, that's don't go hungry again as much, all right? You, you, don't, you don't need the bag back? Nope. I got, that, I got that bag at the dollar store. I took that for the beach when I used to go. <laughs> it's yeah. nothing. I wish I had a bag on me at the time, but when you throw it in the bag, when we take off. Knox, plug huge, man. I mean, I haven't eaten this much in 10 years. Don't <laughs> worry about it. And unfortunately, this is my disease.